Urbana Elementary and junior high students and families. My name is Mrs. Melanie Anders, and many of you know me as the elementary assistant principal. However, I am also the Title I coordinator for grades kindergarten through eighth grade. Schoolwide Title I is a federal program that provides aid to schools to support at-risk students. Federal dollars flow according to poverty levels and students qualify according to test scores, end of unit assessments, and by teacher recommendations. Our school-wide Title I program is an ongoing comprehensive plan for school improvement that is owned by the entire school community. During the 2020-2021 school year, Title I services provided reading and math support across grades kindergarten through eighth grade, depending on the level of need. The district uses both pull-out instruction for small group settings and an inclusion model within the regular classroom setting. Current programs that support Title I goals include LLI, Reading Recovery, and Title I instruction with general fund support. Our Title I federal allocation for the 2020-2021 school year was $598,510.48. The majority of this funding goes towards the salary and benefits of our Title I teachers and paraprofessionals. Funds are also used for supplies and professional development, as well as community engagement activities. A family literacy night was planned for this school year, but we were unable to hold the event due to the school closure order. Families are encouraged to be involved with our Title I program through parent-teacher conferences, event nights, and the annual review of our parent involvement policy. This policy can be found on the Urbana City School District website under the Board of Education policy link. Please join me today, along with Mrs. Diane Dietrich and Mrs. Emily Ginn, our Urbana Elementary Literacy Coaches, as we wrap up Title I with our first virtual literacy event. Thank you and hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dietrich. Um, I am a first grade ELA teacher and I'm also the primary literacy coach for grades kindergarten, first and second. Um, so today I get to share a book called Robot in Love with you, written and illustrated by T.L. Macbeth um, with permission from Scholastic. T.L. Macbeth is a author that is from Ohio and our students actually get to meet with him through a virtual Zoom um, and ask him some questions and learn a little bit more about his um, process for becoming an author and an illustrator and how that works. Um, we're very excited uh, that we get to enjoy that time with him. So I'm going to share this story and in, this is the first book that he is both the author and the illustrator for. In this story, Robot, um, it's an ordinary day, and then he sees something, and then he just falls in love. And then it's kind of that story of him willing to find his um, find his love, and in the end, it's a happy ending, and he ends up finding her with some funny things along the way. So I hope you enjoy Robot in Love. Robot in Love, written and illustrated by T.L. Macbeth for Olivia. It was a day like any other. Click, gurgle, much, beep, beep, beep. Then I saw her. I had never seen anyone so beautiful. Gasp. She was so shiny. I wanted to say something, but I was too shy. I thought about her all day. Honk, honk, honk. Hey, sniff, whoosh, splash, zap. I'm okay, sizzle, sizzle. The next morning, I went back to see if she was still there. She was. I tried to think of something clever to say, but I was too nervous. Does not compute. Error, error, error. System overload. My vision programming malfunctioned. My hydraulic limbs felt weak. My circuit board nearly jumped out of my chest unit. I would have to try again tomorrow. The next day, I went to our meeting spot. I finally worked up the courage to talk to her. 
Greetings, I said. Our connection was electric. Swoon. I set out to make her something beautiful. You can see that he's making that. I was so excited. I couldn't go into sleep mode. Excitement overload. But the next morning, when I went to see her, she was gone. Ah! I looked everywhere. Not under this canine. Scanning. Negative. No results found. No trace out here. I was about to give up. Sniffle. Sigh. Hmm. Ding. I raced back to our meeting spot. This time I went inside. There she was. We were together at last. Toastomatic, display only, not for sale. She said nothing, but she didn't have to. We ran away together. We have so much in common. We're both shy. Is that a toaster? We're both shiny. And we both love toast. The end. Hi there, my name's Emily Ginn and I'm a fifth grade ELA teacher and intermediate literacy coach for Urbana City Schools. I'm so excited to share this story with you this evening. It's called Stegothosaurus and it's written by Bridget Heos and illustrated by our virtual author, T.L. Macbeth. Um, he's going to be spending some time with us uh, zooming into our classroom so that our kiddos can learn more about the writing and illustrating process. Um, this book Book is such a fun story. Um, of course, it's about a stegosaurus, one of the most popular dinosaurs, but you're going to discover that he has quite a large vocabulary and he's not afraid to show it off. Um, when we read this with my fifth graders, they were really excited to see what kinds of words he would use instead of some of the more bland words. Um, he found a lot of synonyms as um, a stegothosaurus would be able to do. So, I hope that you are ready for an exciting, astonishing, sensational read. And again, Stegothosaurus, written by Bridget Heos, illustrated by T.L. Macbeth, and read with permission from Henry Holt and Company. For Francesca and Luke Brewster, B.H. For my parents, T.L.M. Stegothosaurus. Once upon a time, there were three dinosaurs. A Stegosaurus, hi, another stegosaurus, hi, and a stegothosaurus. Hello, greetings, salutations. He was a little different from his brothers. Stegothosaurus knew lots of words and used them to describe everything he saw, like the clouds, for example, fluffy, fleecy, feathery. As the dinosaurs trekked across the desert, looking for something to eat, a mountain appeared in the distance. Big, said the first stegosaurus. Big, said the second stegosaurus. Gargantuan, gigantic, Goliath, said stegothosaurus. The sun rose. Hot, said the first stegosaurus. Hot, said the second stegosaurus. Blazing, blistering, broiling, said Stegothosaurus. At long last, the brothers found some shrubs to eat. Yummy, said the first Stegosaurus. Yummy, said the second stego Stegosaurus. Savory, succulent, scrumptious, said Stegothosaurus. Satisfied and sleepy, the three dinosaurs decided to take a rest. Little did they know an Allosaurus was lurking nearby. Suddenly, it bounded out of the grove of trees. Scary, said the first Stegosaurus. Scary, said the second Stegosaurus, and both ran away. But Stegothosaurus was too busy thinking of all the words that described the Allosaurus. F -f -f Frightening, formidable, fearsome. 
the Allosaurus opened its mouth, baring its teeth, which Stegothosaurus couldn't help but notice were pointy, piercing, peaked. But rather than chomping down on Stegosaurus, the Allosaurus looked at him and said, hulking, hefty, humongous. As it turned out, she wasn't an Allosaurus after all. She was an Allothosaurus. The two Dinothosauruses passed the day away, describing all that they saw. Flit, flutter, fly, dip, dart, dive, slink, slither, slide. After a day of adventure, it was dinner time. As Stegothosaurus nibbled on shrubs, he asked, How did you learn so many words? Well, Allothosaurus answered, One day, I ate a Stegothosaurus. At that moment, only one word popped into Stegothosaurus's head. Not trot, traipse, or travel. Not skitter, scramble, or scoot. But run! And he ran and ran until he caught up with his brothers, who were very relieved to see him. Hug, said the first. Hug, said the second. Snuggle, cuddle, squeeze, said Stegothosaurus. The finale, the conclusion, the closing, the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading of Stegothosaurus, and I invite you to check out um, Bridget Heos's and T.L. Macbeth's follow-up story, um, Triceratoposite. Uh, this is a super cute story about a small dinosaur who likes to do the opposite of everything her parents um, want her to do. So thank you again for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed Stegothosaurus. Bye! Thank you for taking the time to watch our Title I Literacy video. And thank you to Mrs. Dietrich and Mrs. Ginn for sharing your joy for reading with our families. Our literacy coaches are some of the best, and we really appreciate all they do. The coaches chose to read a book by T.L. Macbeth, our visiting virtual author illustrator this year. We love his books, and now you have the chance to win one too. After watching this video, all you need to do is go to your teacher, ask him or her for one of these slips. Fill it out with your name, your teacher's name, your grade, and our secret code. Hashtag I love reading. After you fill it out, turn it into your teacher by Thursday, May 27th. We will be drawing for several copies of T.L. Macbeth's book on Friday, May 28th. Yes, you could have one of his books. Remember, on your drawing slip, you must include the secret code. Hashtag, I love reading to be in the drawing. Good luck and happy reading. See you soon.